Three days after the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, investigators are still searching for a lead and a motive. The FBI says it accessed Thomas Matthew Crooks's phone and conducted nearly 100 interviews, including with neighbors, friends and family. In high school, he was never the type that I would have to worry about. The truth is investigators may never truly know why he opened fire over the weekend. Law enforcement sources say investigators haven't found any evidence yet suggesting a political or ideological motive. I was shocked because knowing that he lived so close to me that he did something like that, it's just... It's, it's shocking. But we are learning more about the security level at the rally and what investigators knew leading up to the shooting. The Secret Service director says local police were in the building when the suspect fired from its roof. According to law enforcement sources, there were snipers from the Butler County Emergency Services Department stationed on the second floor of the building. Now questions are swirling about Secret Service preparations. The president of the Fraternal Order of Police blaming high-level law enforcement for Trump being shot in the ear. The director of the Secret Service says she'll fully cooperate with an independent investigation. The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable and it's something that shouldn't happen again. One person was killed and two others injured in the shooting. Authorities say the gunman, the Secret Service and a Butler Township police officer all fired weapons at the rally. Jenna Enix, Spectrum News. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage and click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues and more. We'll see you then.